Hi, I'm Sarah Valdez, STEM and School Educator here at the Edwards Aquifer Authority. And I'm Tara Gibbs. I do educational outreach for the Edwards Aquifer Authority. Hi, I'm John Ramirez and I do the education uh, outreaches for the Edwards Aquifer Authority. All right, and today we're going to try and do some simple activities just to demonstrate how water gets out of the aquifer. Um, we've talked a lot about how water gets into the aquifer, but in case you can't remember, let's do a quick refresher with the map here. You see here in the hill country, we have the drainage area. This is where the rain falls. Then it drains down to what we call the recharge zone. This is where the water flows back into the aquifer, just like you would recharge your phone at home. Then it goes down and it comes back up through water pressure in artesian wells and springs. Um, it's like uh, if you have a seesaw or a teeter-totter or a scale, if you push down, down on one side, we're applying force. So I'm pushing down, down, down on one side, the other side's going up, up, up. That's right. And that is pressure. 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 <laughs> you can also show it with a water balloon. If the artesian zone was a water balloon and your drainage area and your recharge zone is a hose and you're filling it up, filling it up, filling it up, what would that balloon do? Pop. But our aquifer is not going to pop, right? Right. That's made out of limestone rock. But that limestone rock is full of holes. Tiny microscopic little pores, big, big holes like the size of this room that we call cave. All right. So here we have a water balloon that's going to represent the Edwards aquifer. We're going to apply a fracture above the Edwards aquifer. We're going to poke a hole right in there. Oh! Oh. <laughs> okay. <get> <laughs> You may also want to try this outdoors. All right, so we're going to get a bigger container. So once again, the balloon representing the Edward Dock for the artesian zone. All right, poke a hole on the thickest part of the balloon. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh, as you can see, oh, as I apply pressure, obviously from the top, obviously from the recharge zone, and as water becomes under hydraulic pressure, and the fracture above would create an artesian spring. Cool. Perfect. So this is pretty neat. So we did put a hole in there right there. So all this air pressure actually is plugging the hole naturally. So what we're doing is we're, this bottle is creating the Edwards aquifer, the drainage area, the recharge zone, the new artesian zone. So the top would actually represent the recharge zone. So we call this the hydrostatic head. The atmospheric pressure is going to push down. And as more rainwater flows into the Edwards Aquifer, it's going to apply pressure. And then with natural fractures above the impermeable rock right above, okay, as we apply more pressure, spring water pops up. And because of pressure, pressure. we'll just open up the uh, cap here. And there we go. Cool. Look as pressure is pushing down on the water, it's forcing water to come out of that hole. So then we apply more pressure, more water comes out. And we'll just cap that well. <laughs> and lastly, we do have a way that you can do an aquifer in a cup or an aquifer in your own classroom. So every kid gets to take one home. So you can take a little container like this that I just got, you know, at the grocery store. Any container with a lid would work. So you can poke a little hole on either end. Go ahead and stick your straws okay. into the holes. That's one. Put the other one on the other side. All right. And you're going to seal the opening with a little play. bit of modeling clay. Okay, how does All that right, look? Tara, you're pretty fast. That's great. Perfect. Looks sealed to me. And you know what? Let's put a little food coloring in there too so you can see how the water moves. Oh yeah, that'd be much cooler watching it come up these straws. Okay. And you see the water coming up? Every time you push on it, awesome. the water comes up. So that's your own little aquifer in a cup. And you can see how pressure works. We all come back to schools to do aquifer education for free. And we love to come visit your school. We'll talk about the Edwards Aquifer and the species that depends on the Edwards Aquifer. So uh, call us out. Uh, we'd love to come visit. All right. If you have any questions on how pressure moves water through the Edwards Aquifer, how water comes out of the Edwards Aquifer through springs and wells, you can always send us an email. We've got a bunch of activities, too, on Pinterest, short, easy things that you can do. Um, and if you try this and you take pictures or a video, send it to us. We'd love to see what you've done with it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on our next um, Aquifer Adventures. Thanks. Yes, thank you.